healthy lifestyle help you get on track or if you already live like a healthy lifestyle maybe you'll still learn something new I don't know I'm hoping that you're gonna learn something new so I've gathered things that I like to do and that have really helped me out and so yeah I hope you enjoy this video so the first tip I have is to eat a good filling breakfast full of protein and fiber this is really gonna start your day off good that way you have the fuel to get through the day you haven't eaten in a while because you've been sleeping so you literally want to break the fast that's me breaking, that's breaking the fast right there. Uh, so you want something that's full of protein and fiber so that it keeps you full for a long time and it's also gonna help you not binge later on in the day so you won't be tempted to eat all those kind of junk food type things if you have like the energy and feel that you need from the day. I really like having oatmeal. I think this is really good, especially if it's still cooler when you live or you just like something warm in your stomach when you wake up in the morning. So I put some almond butter on top and then some strawberries. It kind of feels like peanut butter and jelly. I dig it. I like it. My second tip is to focus more on eating more real food and less processed food. So basically sticking to the perimeter of the grocery store so that you're eating things that haven't been heavily processed. So it's better to have like 100 calories of an apple versus like 100 calories of like those thin station, those like, you know, 100 calorie cookie packs that are like, sure they're 100 calories, but they're also full of a lot of like high fructose corn syrup and other processed stuff versus 100 calories of an apple. You'll get a lot more benefits from like the apple than you will from the processed snacks. So just start like making those kinds of swaps and eating more real food and less processed food. And this gets me into my third tip, which is to make some healthy swaps in your everyday meals. So I like to go on Pinterest if I'm making a recipe, just look for some healthy swaps that I can use in there and that way it'll increase the nutritional value of what you're eating. So yeah. My next tip is to give yourself a power hour and what this means is that you're getting up yes, you're getting up an hour earlier. I know guys, it's hard, but I promise like it's just so enjoyable. So what this power hour is, is you take 20 minutes for your mind, 20 minutes for your body, and 20 minutes for your soul. So for your mind, you could do something like meditation or journaling. For your body, you could do something like a, just a nice walk. Just do some nice stretching and it's going to really start your day off right. And then if something for your soul, you could listen to a podcast or read like a nice positive inspiring book. I've really been liking the book You Are a Badass by Jen Sicaria. I think it's Sicaria. I think that's how you say it. Um, and I use Audible, not sponsored by Audible. My next tip is to use an app, something like a MyFitnessPal, just to keep track of your portion sizes and what you're eating. I think a lot of the time, you know, you're saying, oh, I'm having a bowl of cereal for breakfast. You'll keep track of that. But your bowl of what you're pouring in may or be like three servings. I'm totally guilty of this with cereal. You fill a bowl and it turns out one serving is one cup. And if you measure what you put in your bowl, there would be three cups. So I suggest for a couple days just doing this, just to see kind of what you're eating and how much you're eating, just to make sure that like, you know, you're eating a good serving amount and stuff like that. My next tip is to just overall cut down on the amount of sugar, like processed sugar you have in your diet and kind of try to incorporate more fruits. Fruits are really great because they have natural fructose and glucose and your body runs on glucose like as its physical energy unit. All the carbs and everything you eat, those kill like the calories, calories are ener they're sugar, they're glucose. It's what your body needs to kind of keep going. So just take that and have a lot of fruits, make a smoothie bowl, and it's gonna give you a lot of like fruit energy that's gonna be good for you, and it's also gonna satisfy your sweet tooth. My next tip is to drink some green juice, or if you don't have a juicer, you can make a smoothie. It'll just be like more fibrous and less like juicy, but I love making green juices because it's a really easy way to get in a bunch of vitamins and minerals that are really fresh and taste really good, especially if you're not super into the taste of spinach or kale or kind of like the green vegetables. You can really hide them in the green juice by using things like apples, oranges, and pineapple because the sweetness of those things will like totally, you won't even taste like the, the spinach or the kale. So There's an easy way to kind of get those nutrients. My last tip is to just have fun and experience experiment with new recipes. Try something like Meatless Mondays if you are like a huge meat eater and see how you like maybe not having meat and experiment with something. Go on Pinterest, invite your friends over, like make fun and just find something that you like because I guarantee there's going to be a healthy recipe that you like. You just have to have fun and kind of see the kinds of things you do like and the kinds of things you don't like. So thank you guys for watching my tips. If you found any of them helpful, please let me know down in the comments below or if you have any that I haven't mentioned. Also let us know so that we can all share in like the health tips. I always do this. Well, I do this in every video. Um, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.